Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to pin a test case charts on your home page using Team Foundation Server 2013 Web Access. So let's go uh, to the server wherever um, it might be your local machine. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fire up the Internet Explorer. And I'm going to go ahead and connect with my Team Foundation server. And URL is needed for that. And in my case, it's uh, TBS TFS 8080 TFS. So that is Tech Brothers Team Foundation server. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And this is the first view I get. Uh, you need to connect to your uh, Team Foundation uh, uh, Team Project. If you are not connected with your, with your uh, Team Project, you need to click on Browse, go to Collection, and select a proper Team Project where you're working on. So go ahead and click on that. We're going to go ahead and click on Tech Brothers. And up here is the first page. We're going to go ahead and click on a, a test page right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this is uh, the test plan right here. If you have more test plans, you can query and get the specific test plan that you're looking for. So uh, in this test plan, I have only one uh, test case. And uh, that test case is failed. So it's, it's a failed state. Uh, of a test case but uh, let's say that you have a uh, multiple test cases and you what you want, would like to do is the status of all those test cases I will show you the the um, filters that you can run the status on and all that status let's say that would be the results of those test cases or it would be another um, uh, filter that you would like to see whenever you go and uh, go in your team project home page that should appear on your home page in terms of charts so right here there is two tabs here tests and charts so this is my um, test case in my case it's just one test case but uh, this will work for demo purposes but you can have more test cases and you can click on charts and configure charts on each uh, case so test case so we're going to go ahead and click on charts. If you notice here, I have configured already a chart, but if you don't know how to configure that, you can click on new and click on new test result chart or new test case chart. So this would bring the results uh, information. This will bring the, uh, if you have multiple test case cases up here, if you click on that, it'll let you choose group by what cases that you wanted to do that. In my case, it's just the one test case, so it's not giving me really any option. So we're going to go ahead and cancel that, and we're going to go ahead and click on new and new test chart uh, result chart. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And let's say that uh, this is, uh, I wanted to, th these are the options that I was talking about, the filters I wanted to talk, uh, I was talking about configuration failure type outcomes priorities resolution run by run type and the suite and tester let's say if you're looking for a particular tester and you would like to see may maybe that uh, uh, the the test cases that you have assigned to that particular te uh, tester are the high priority one and uh, every morning you wanted to know the result set of those test cases you can choose that tester and uh, look at um, your home page and see what are the results of those test cases because every time you will go on your home page it's going to execute the latest results that's in team foundation server and will give you the output so we're going to go ahead and click on failure page so you can choose up here what kind of a uh, uh, chart that you want we have a pie chart uh, bar column stack bar and pivot table I particularly like pivot table if you look at it and uh, go ahead and do the outcome this is how it looks like and uh, I like that way so whatever the chart type that you like these are the chart types available in team foundation server web access so we're gonna go ahead and cancel that for now because I already have a, a, a chart so up here um, uh, the chart will appear on here and uh, in this particular video we're going to learn how to pin this uh, particular chart on your home page so up here uh, you will see uh, first the uh, plan 
uh, uh, up here right here so you're gonna go ahead and there are three dots right here if you click on one uh, right click or left click basically right a uh, uh, click just one click on that and you have options edit that chart delete that particular chart or pin to a home page so in this video we're going to do uh, select the third option which is pin to home page we're gonna go ahead and click on that so now it's pinned to our home page let's see that if it's really pinned to our home page so we're gonna go ahead go back to our team foundation server and then the team uh, um, project that you were in click on that and you will see right here pinned items so if you have multiple test cases and you would like to see every morning the first thing whenever you connect to your team foundation server you would like to see this the status of that let's say your team uh, lead or uh, you're leading that particular project and you would like to uh, look at the graphical representation of the result sets of those particular uh, test cases uh, in team foundation server web access this is possible and you can go ahead and do it the way that i showed you and i hope this video helps